Hey everyone, so this is a little practice that I did the other day and this is again a tutorial that you seem to like a lot. Just a quick practice how we will create here this transition and the interesting part is here how to transition two surfaces into one smooth surface with this kind of connection so let's have a look and by the way guys i just wanted to remind you that currently our xmas sale is ongoing for plasticity courses it will end in a few days in the start of next year so if you are a beginner and you want to learn everything from the start on plasticity then yeah here we have our beginner bundle and if you're more interested in surface modeling and you want to learn everything about surface modeling how to create industrial design helmets and all that kind of stuff then we have here our bundle or if you want a specific course all of our courses are also 30 percent price reduced so first link in the description check it out and let's jump right into our tutorial all right so you can download this file here and again it's not perfect it's just half past 10 practice just uh, yeah as fast as I can and so we have on top this piece here which will be here the cylindrical shape and then here what is important we just want to connect all of those different faces and shapes in a nice beautiful way with some rounding and nice hard edges so that's pretty interesting yeah, I will not explain everything, so you can just loft those curves and just add with G2 those things and delete those curves, delete those supporting faces. And again, if you're a beginner, don't watch this. Go to my beginner videos. This is definitely not beginner friendly. All right, so now we have those three faces. And why I'm showing it to you? Because Basically, what I'm noticing the skill is, yes, it's to figure out just in general how to do everything, right? But most of the time, like here, you are creating faces or surfaces one by one, and then you, so in different places, and then you have to go, so those are the main forms, main shapes, the first ones, and then we have to create the secondary details and shapes and connect those main forms and shapes, basically. You know what I mean? So basically here, those three faces, right? Those are the big things. But now if we zoom in, we have those, we have to connect that somehow. And again, this will be separate surfaces. And this is a lot of just practice experience and just like really experimenting. And like my brain is like really hot right now but it's fun you know so uh, first of all we see here that this surface here is going like to this edge right and it makes here like a curvature and guys this is absolutely not my style of tutorials like this kind of low budget and just a random tutorial and all that stuff so please let me know if you really want uh, this kind of tutorials and if you find them helpful all right, guys, I'm talking a lot, but explanation is important that you understand that. So we want to cut here a piece away. So because this, you see, we can't establish a curvature because how? There is no, no place, right? So we will just go here to this point and to this point. So we will use what we have already, create a curve or a line and see cut here into our surface and just delete here this piece away and select this X and delete the curve, right? So now you see we can start to create something. And this is what we want. And this also very interesting thing here is we have two surfaces, right? So we have three edges and two surfaces. But here we have just one surface uh, and two edges. So most of the time it's absolutely not what we want most of the time we want two faces connect to two faces or three to three or one to one but not two to one you know because it, it's not working most of the time but here we need this and we also see here this edge it kind of dissolves and meets somewhere here in the middle so to do that it's basically we'll just create a line somewhere here because you see this edge goes a little bit to the left. 
So we want also here an extra edge so we can connect it. So we have a line here and shift one or imprint here this curve onto our surface and we can delete the surface and we have something like that because now we can use our favorite command here. We select both of those edges, shift B or bridge edge for you and we have something like that. But here we don't want any curvature so it's G0 and you see it's maybe a bit too strong so let's give it G1 and maybe with D attention a little bit more. Right, so right click and see now we have exactly what we want and now you can either try to patch those three edges uh, but yeah you get like this weird mountains so what I will just do is just loft those two edges G0 and shift here into our guiding line and okay G2 it's not working here quickly so but this is fine and guys you see we have what we want yes it's not perfect it's not 100% what we want but this is the direction right perfect so look now again it's if you watch one of my previous video where I created the patch again what we have to do now is look at our reference image and now we see we just want a smooth um, transition to close this hole so again, we will just select here this edge and this edge and go to this view. And again, so we want to connect this way. And obviously here we want a nice G1 or G2 if we can get that. And at this point, because we have a sharp corner, we want, you guessed it right, G0. Again, select this edge, shift this edge. And let's go to this view, then you see it, shift B, bridge edge. And bam again. So here we need G1 or G2 and D and let's make a little bit less of a tension and here G0, right? So we have exactly the shape. And because we will mirror it over and guys, that definitely doesn't look right, but yeah, it's a practice. It's, it's okay. But we want to simmer to each over. So select that curve and extrude that a little bit because we need this edge of the surface and basically now we can yeah try a few different things out but patch should work so select them all uh, shift 3 so just patch it and that looks good here g1 and here g1 maybe g2 okay doesn't work uh, but here for g1 should be fine now yes this is okay right click delete this face so you see we got our shape and the only thing, of course, that you have to do is, so obviously you have to give it here some fillet, but you see this obviously doesn't work with this kind of geometry. So maybe, obviously I will do it now with the pipe. This will be then 100% smooth. Yeah, guys, let me know now in the comments, please, again, if you want this kind of tutorial. It's, it's super low budget compared to my usual kind of quality and style. So let me know. And see you in the next one. Bye.